A major update on the future of Marvel Studios TV has officially been confirmed by the official sources, well, Marvel Studios and Disney. So let's talk about how Marvel Television is a new sub-brand of Marvel Studios, which makes things a little confusing. So if you've been keeping up with everything, you know that years ago, let's say a decade ago, there was two divisions within Marvel. There was Marvel Studios, which did the films, and Marvel Entertainment, which did the TV side of things. Daredevil, Runaways, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and all that. And then there was, in collaboration with Marvel, which was like Sony, Fox, and all that, which not a whole lot of people really had input from what we're talking about. Once everything was consolidated and the TV side of things ended, Marvel Entertainment got folded into Marvel Studios and they became one. In the last year and a half to two years, we saw that Marvel Studios started to spin off into Marvel Animation and now they got that brand. And well, we heard rumors that they were going to be rebranding again and that there was a potential for like an R-rated brand and other things. Well, insiders were saying today it's confirmed it's happening but yeah they said this after marvel revealed agatha all along and daredevil born again are now under the marvel television banner so i don't see how you can scoop the official announcement and reveal but there it is um so what exactly changes here well the important thing that's changing is the messaging right it's no longer just everything Marvel Studios because there's different heads out, there's different people, there's Brad Winderbaum who's running Marvel Animation and Marvel TV side of things, Kevin Feige still oversees it, but Feige's still in charge of the core Marvel Studios and obviously they wanted to differentiate the outlets and the brands for, I don't know, probably for purposes of not clogging up everything and making things simpler and this honestly makes sense to me, so cool, thumbs up.